<sighs> okay, on now to the big boys. Let's go ahead and uh, power up the parts for what will be the largest build on the channel so far. Again, we yeah, a few of these coming up to be honest. Well, pretty sure I'm cursed at this point, because, um, yeah, as the observant among you may have noticed, Nadiki has shot a couple of limbs. He's missing two parts that are required to attach his back legs properly. So, 
I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quickly start the size comparison now. I'm propping it up on this bag of parts. And yeah, it's probably about this. This kind of tall. And this part in the cracker. It's bigger, as you'd expect. So, I will be back in a moment for you, a lot longer than a moment for me, probably, while I saw some uh, missing parts. See you in a bit. <sighs> okay, so Brooklyn Cellar Abracadabra, as you can see on this thing here, came in absolutely clutch, saved my ass. Let's uh, tip out this bag of parts. Which barely warrants a plural that it gets. And cut to the shortest time lapse in the history of the channel. <sighs> and here we have the Diki and the colour parts that were missing from other things as well. Just put those off to one side. Okay, where was I? So, Mediki then. Uh, articulation. You got uh, two points in each leg. You got the incredibly tight torso swivel. That was a problem to flop about, but there's not much I can really do about that. And then, here yeah, you got uh, full range in the arms, shoulders, elbows. Hands and claws, of course. Pinch, pinch. Now, size comparison then. First things first, let's bring in Steric, myself, Nox, just to see how he looks threatening a Matoran. De accessorize my boy. I've been watching a lot of Prodigal Sun lately and. Uh, you know, the, whole, the whole my boy thing is sort of rubbed off on me, but anyway. And there, and pink. Could have gone better. Let's try that again, shall we? And carefully move him back. Yeah, he can hold on to you and terrorize Matoran, as you'd expect from one of his stature. Speaking of stature. Here he is alongside a standard Metro build. Let's do this on the other side here. As you can see, about the same height. A lot more mass, just because, you know, he's, he's huge, he's got the big legs. And sliding him across. Here he is with his partner Cracker. And because he has the disc, yeah, function still works. So this has been Lucas Builds, who is kind of in need of a larger filming setup at this point. Um, mine is about hit its limit with Titan Build. Turns out, it's no cracker. Actually, let's keep Cracker in shot. Recentralize the DC as best I can. I'm filming this my lunch break, hence the uh, laptop. And bring in... Nuju as an example of my modified Metro build. Let's just slide this along. Bring it up a little. So, ever is slightly shorter than sort of my version of the Metro build, but some of that is clearly hunched. And Silver is because he is an evil spider boy. Yeah, you gotta account for that with these things. You're supposed to be getting everything in a shot. Let's bring in right on the edge. Let's bring you in right on the edge here. Move Cracker in a little. Yeah, this is how it scales with most of the stuff that he would, logically speaking, be displayed with. So, instructions coming up uh, soon. I mean, I got them finished, so, you know, that's the bulk of the work right there. Maybe tomorrow? I said tomorrow, yeah. Uh, well, with that then, this has been Lucas Builds. I'm in need of a new filming setup, probably, considering that uh, up next is something even bigger. But 
Yeah, I mean, Nuju here comes up to his chest thereabouts, so... We'll see how that goes. See you guys next week for that.